What's going on, Clutch? Squat! What up, what up, what up, man? Shaboy Duck. Shaboy Ross. We're in the Clutch A. Hey, back to ladies and gentlemen. Vigil today, you feel me? The weirdness of Tubi movies by, I um, want to give the proper shout out to this uh, YouTuber, man. Uh, the Generosity. I actually like that name. That's actually pretty cool. The Generosity? Yeah, oh, that's, that a, is dope. that's a pretty cool YouTube name, man. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to him, man. Yeah, I guess he did a commentary over the weirdness of Tubi movies. I've seen several clips of different Tubi movies, and they are just some of the worst films, visual effects, acting, setting, everything that makes those C tier movies. Like you know the movies that C you tier. you were seeing the the DVD yeah. bins for like a dollar. That's what Tubi is. It's a service, a collection of those. a collection of those movies, the worst of the worst, and people watch it. Because obviously, they're having a good time, well, having shout fun. Out, so it out, works. Shout out to Tubi, just in case you know. We, I, but yeah. I don't know, bro. I look, man, we're trying to grow our brand Damn. to be something serious. And Damn. Two, Tubi movies are what they are. To be continued. Yeah, to be <laughs> continued. But, but now, we're going to uh, check, check this out, man. Yeah, man. Oh, my apparently, God, these are some wild uh, videos. You said somebody sent this over to us, right? Uh, I believe so in the Discord. So shout yeah, out to shout you guys to home, uh, for the video suggestions in the Discord. We appreciate you guys. Let's get into this one. Uh, I've seen right. this clip that you're about to see. Oh, my God, bro. Just just watch. <laughs> Wait, she just shot her at point blank? Are we going to talk about... The audio, how fake that gun sound. <laughs> Do she even have a gun in her hand? That's a gun. I don't know what. It's definitely a gun. Y'all, I just want y'all to understand. We three seconds in and I, I already paused. I told you, bro. She shot at point blank in front of the kid. Like, we're not even going to. Hey, who man. wrote this? Just just keep watching, man. Keep, oh, my God. You, you ain't look at the, the sound quality and the That's visual the effects, man. It's just. Man. <laughs> you just <laughs> cut that, that out. Part, but yeah. Patreon, you get to see it. <laughs> I told you, bro. This. Yeah, dog. I'm the just kid, a too. kid. Kabow. <laughs> Them fake What the kid do? Oh, man. To oh, me. Oh, we in for to Movies. Me. A magnificent visual art form that can show the riveting story of one's life or journey. Mm -hmm. They can display the harshness of someone's struggles and the beauty of someone's rise, conveying yep. emotions that whenever I see them on screen, I can't help but feel the same way the character is feeling mm -hmm. on screen. Not only that, they can introduce you Very to a new it. world that is entirely detached from our reality that I'm almost always engulfed in. I think that's a beautiful wonder about movies. They can spark out emotions for me that I just can't get from any True other that. media. That. But what kind of deep emotions does movies like this spark for me? <laughs> that's some old school Godzilla movies, y'all. <laughs> Niggas in fucking rubber suits. This nigga flew. On the court, just laid back. <laughs> he did the lean back. Double key. Oh. Of course, just like with everything else in existence, Whoa. there's a not so good counterpart to movies. And these counterparts could be found way easier nowadays since most Skippy. blockbusters nowadays aren't really that good anymore. Like y'all making so many superhero movies nowadays, when are you guys gonna make the Black Bomber superhero movie? I need that. I'll see that in theaters three times in a row. Y'all show my boy no respect, and yet y'all gonna produce the 18th billion Fast and Furious movie. Ain't nobody wanna see that? And Streaming services be producing half the slop we be consuming nowadays. Uh -huh. You can find many of them on Netflix. There's a ton of banger movies on there. <laughs> but after seeing it on TikTok from time and time again, it seems like there's a streaming service that is a gold mine for not only B movies, but low quality looking, $50 budget, filmed on a Motorola looking budget. ass movies. Max. Toby. And when finding this out, my curiosity got the best of me. I, I needed to see this. <laughs> and when I checked it out, I was not only amazed, but I was perplexed on how amazing these movies are. Some of these movies will make Martin Scorsese reconsider what true cinema oh is. And this bitch is sitting on my living room couch. You the only one with a key. What are you talking about? The Tiffany, audio, Tiffany, bro. the Dog. Boy, I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, I haven't been there. Fuck. Where the fuck did she go? Tubi, if you ain't know, is a streaming service like the others, but unlike she, them, out of there. She disappeared, fam. I want y'all to realize. And he just walked in the shot. 
when you want to have a good laugh, just watch a random Tubi movie. Uh, I, I am, I'm interested now. I definitely want to go. <laughs> Original catalog, they have great works of art like, like Bad Cat, on the- <laughs> Mary Finger Kill, and Shark Side of the Moon. What? You know, absolute classics that everybody knows. But outside the originals they produce, Tubi Shark also has a big catalog of B movies. Not the jazz one, but low budget and indie movies. It has a whole bunch of films made by everyday people like you and me. Since anybody can make a movie nowadays, if you got a camera, you can make a movie. The yeah. thing is, a lot of these films don't look the best or sound the best or even make sense half the time, but that's okay. (laughs) These people made and created a movie that they're so proud of that they released it to the public for all of us to watch. There's no better accomplishment than that. I'll be talking about one movie today, and that movie is titled Love Beat the Hell Out of Me. And today, I'll be going through and over these movies, just so you guys can see a glimpse of what I saw of what Tubi (laughs) has to offer. By the way, this ain't sponsored by Tubi. They ain't paying me jack to do this. But if a Tubi exec is watching this, my pockets are open. You just like how my pockets are open for today's sponsor, War Thunder. Hey, that's what's I up. Like how you did that, yeah, that was tough. That was that tough. Fucks with it, man. Ow! All right, let's get this started. I gotta go to my BBL appointment later. So the movie I'll be talking about is Love Beat the Hell Out of Me. Now, I'm not sure this movie is trying to be a sequel or a remake to the 2000 movie with the same title starring the original War Machine, but honestly, my re- It's the same title. Yep. <laughs> he said with the original War Machine. Search ended there. I ain't watching both movies. The movie starts off with the beautifully done studio logos and title card with some MF Doom song playing in the background. MF I don't know. I only heard him from TikTok. And right at the start, we get introduced to our two main characters. Dude, okay. Why start off a movie with a sex scene? Why? You instantly make it awkward when I'm with my family. Anyways, our two characters, Renee and Antonio, are happily married. They got a kid and they're doing fine, I guess. Then we cut to Antonio's job at his office and he already acting like a demon. He had a church? His boss then enters and introduces him to the new hire, Rhonda. And you can already see mad romantical tension between them. You can cut it with a sword or tortilla. It was that obvious. Next scene, we are at a school with Renee dropping off her son too and in his classroom. There she meets her son's new teacher and the dude is buff like a Samoan. By the end of their combo, you can see even more romantical tension in the air. We seen so much lustful tension with these two and it was never with each other. She then leaves because she ain't trying to act up, you know? Next, we're at a studio hearing one of the best songs ever recorded. Sitting in my crib, trying to get blow. Niggas need to understand my shit just flows. Like the breeze off the fucking lake. I got this dope shit uncut. Make your ass lose. So this dude is Renee's brother, and apparently this is Antonio's studio. And they're all a part of this music group. I forgot what it was called. And Antonio <laughs> invited some fine singers to help him record a song. Oh, Renee brother and Antonio bro. start hollering at these girls, and all of a sudden, this dude becomes a comedian. No, he didn't call himself T Slick. Uh, for real? This candy man looking goofy. <laughs> Yeah, how dare you sabotage me in front of these ladies when your sister is literally my wife. But they kiss and make up at the end, so it's all cool. Then we teleport to this long salon scene where Renee works out and all the girls there are roasting each other, talking about their kids and that new teacher Renee met today. Her salon buddies egg her, trying to get the deets out of her, but she shows off her wedding ring, announcing her loyalty to Antonio. How sweet. Alright, not gonna lie. First third of this movie is kind of slow. There's a lot of small talk like Antonio telling Ray about the new hire and one of Ray's grown ass friends trying to flirt with a kid in the chicken shop. Uh huh. Hey, you got an Hey, yo! <laughs> it ain't too. Dog, what? This is awful. This is dope. This is bad. Bro, the quality is. This is bad. Doo doo, fam. Doo doo. This is bad. We back at Antonio's office and Rhonda call him for some assistance. Antonio heads over to her office and then his boss is looking for him because he just got nominated for an award for best attorney in the district. The boss and secretary go to Rhonda's office to tell Antonio the good news only to walk in on him giving Rhonda back shots. Are you 
Bro, are they serious? They fired on the spot and Rhonda's laughing like she an anime villain. I don't know what the hell that's about. We then cut to Renee, bro, showing up to that house and he trying to tell her the bad. Did you see the, the frame? <laughs> yeah. This nigga giving her back shots in the office. Bro, they just called your name over there. <laughs> she must have been already in position and, this and waiting. This is funny, bro. Dog. And news about her husband, Antonio. I have no idea how he knows, but like, yeah. just, just deal with it. But then he does one of those long build up explanations instead of just saying what the husband did. Just say he cheated. Your husband ain't the man you think he is. <sighs> Then Antonio walks in last how second right before an yeah. actual explanation Bro, of how does he know that? <laughs> no one knows. When you he was at the office. <laughs> no one knows how he knows. Will we ever find out? Who knows? The writing, bro. <laughs> Of course. I hate when characters do that in movies. Just spit it out. Spit it out already. Then we cut to Renee visiting Antonio's old job because she just wanted to see her husband being a working and strong man. Only to find out this man hasn't been working there for two weeks. She obviously mad, but then the boss tells her the real reason why he got fired. Then she gets even more mad. You Renee, you the job of everybody that work up in here. Yo, we then cut to Antonio making music with that singer he met earlier. Then they start. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. My guy really said, I already cheated once. I might as well do it again. Then Renee finally confronts him about his cheating, his job, and she is tired of his dishonesty. You need to calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. This nigga, dog. Cutting that out. Finger nose slap her. Hey, if you wanna see it. We gotta play it safe, man. <laughs> that was wait a minute. Holy, bro, he he, Kirkpatrick. This man just starts going Chris oh, Brown on her crazy. and starts chasing her with a gun like he John Wick in the most intense chase scene I've ever seen in a movie. <laughs> bro, why is this like a for real scene? <laughs> he do like Oscar proud. Why is she running into the woods? She falls and he brings her back home and threatens her, saying, You better not leave me. Or I'm gonna go crazy. Did he wake her He's up also a crackhead tapping? now, I guess. Next scene, her brother show up and sees her face. Super worried, he asked, Who did this? And she's like, Antonio, but we're not together no more, so there's nothing to worry about. But he wasn't having it and he was gonna deal with it on his own. Bro waits for Antonio to pull up out of his car to drive by his ass. And in Antonio's dying breath, he licks his lips and then dies again. Can't be seen having chapped lips around the hoe. Then we cut his to lips, his bro. funeral, which is mad empty. Not even his son showed up. Nobody liked this nigga, I guess. And Renee crying like he ain't just beat her ass five minutes ago. Oh what did I do? Renee God. then goes to see Antonio's mother. When after seeing Renee's scars, she said she always the feared this makeup. would happen to her. Turns out Tony's father was also a cheater and a beater. And Antonio got his bad habits from his daddy. She begs for Renee to leave Bro, Antonio, but Renee makeup. says she can't leave him because he threatened her. But he was just at his funeral. He dead now. What are you gonna do? Slap you from the grave? Like yeah. that's just ridiculous. Tony's mom then recommends her to at least leave the house while he's still there. And then she proceeds to think about her son's teacher that she spoke to for like 30 seconds. Uh, I didn't know you guys had that kind of relationship already. Anyways, we go to the next scene at night to the singer girl appearing to be catcalled by some random homeless dude. Only for him to be Antonio? I thought this man was... I'm done. I'm done, bro. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. I am done. <laughs> this nigga is alive and well. <laughs> I am done, fam. Like, I am. Oh, my God. That's official. Unless this ain't a Halloween movie, I'm done. Dead? What the hell he doing back? <laughs> First time I saw this scene, I thought it was a flashback or something. But nah. He, he's alive. He's alive live. So what was that funeral about? Some Mr. Robot dream sequence or some shit? How is he not dead? I mean, from when I found out later on in the movie, he ain't from Wizards of Waverly Place. So oh, how he came back dude. to life? In the movie, 
never explains he this. Tie. He's just alive again and homeless now. And My jersey. personal theory is that he has the same powers of Kenny from South Park, but that's just me. Anyways, he confronts the girl about her not answering his. Why does he have a tie on? <laughs> There's so a many. A jacket and a jersey. There's so many questions that make no sense. Calls, but she ain't having it with his drug problems because he's a junkie now, I, I guess. He gets mad and is about to smack her, but then she pulls out the blicky on him. Miko. Bitch, he slowly backs away from her and then notices someone he knows in the alleyway. Hey, I know you. I know you. What do you want, man? It's his dealer, and he begging for more compound V, but he got no money. Uh, so he no offers v. to do whatever she wants. This they walk away together, and we transition to a montage of Renee becoming a stronger woman who don't need no man. We then cut to her packing her bags to move out, and while packing, Renee's friend frantically comes in the room. Renee, good phone call. We need to go get Antonio now. Get him for what? Like I said, we need to go get Antonio. And she does one of those things. I thought he was dead. This nigga. <laughs> Why? Why is he not dead? They had a funeral and everything. This is fucking... What well, these two different ideas in one? Be, bro, and they probably just said, you know what, fuck, we just gonna keep it in <laughs> instead of cutting that. I don't. This is just. It's too. Am I surprised? No. They need somebody to screen <laughs> these movies. Oh Come my on, god, bro. this is awful, bro. Where she don't explain why she has to do it. She just says, "There's no time." Like, nah, you gotta explain why I need to save my abusive husband, cause I will never be in the mood for that. Renee eventually agrees to go, and as they looking around for him, they pull up to a trap house, and then her friend like, "Nah, let's just get out of here and call the police. This place ain't safe." But Renee's like, nah, he my husband. Nigga, you leaving him? Both of them go inside and Renee's friend starts tripping for good reason, saying again, this ain't safe because there's literal junkies walking around and why are we doing all this for him? Him! Then Renee says, Look, I just need to know. I just need to know what he's been up to. Know what? He had a crack house. That's an obvious sign to know what he's been up to. Renee's friend is spitting wisdom while Renee herself is spitting dumbasser. Anyways, they find Tony and he acting like his usual self ever since he died. Antonio! Damn. Who the fuck coming in my crib? He start begging her to come back and Renee just staring at him for a little bit and she just says, let's get out of here. She's seen everything she needed to see. Then why the hell y'all here? What the hell you expected it to look like? To him to be the kingpin of the house? They leave and then he chases them and then we transition to a murder scene and it turns out Tony's drug dealer died of an overdose and they suspect her boyfriend of doing it. Now, they haven't even identified her body yet, so I don't know how they know she ha she has a boyfriend. <laughs> One of the cops walks outside because he keeps complaining about the stink of the body. Damn! Please get that damn body out of here. He then sees a group of young African-American men hanging out, minding their own business, and then the woman cop sees this and is like, Man, I bet you $20 I've seen some of the drugs to talk. Yeah. You know what? Hold it right there. Y'all just oh, saw these random dudes no, and automatically assumed they did it? You didn't even question them or yourself. You just wild. went after them without no evidence. Like, damn, this movie's more realistic than I thought. But this one knows karate, so movie logic, I, I guess he did it. And that's the last we hear or see anything related to that, so what was the point? We cut to Antonio walking to Renee's house, oh, begging some more, bag. but Renee is really done done with him this time. He tries to beat her ass again, but she's a strong, independent woman now, so the self-defense training came in clutch. She then tells him she going to church, so if he coming, he can come. He says, yes, I... <laughs> it went from bad to just what? Nigga said, damn! Somebody get this body. <laughs> and you the goddamn cop supposed to be <laughs> investigating. Damn, can somebody get this body out of here? You give a nigga a roll, bro. He going to take it over, bro. That's exactly <laughs> that was, what that was. That's the best part to me, bro. Damn, somebody get this body out of here.
I'll go anywhere with you and enters the car with her, which I don't know how she comfortable with this man being in her car after he literally <laughs> just tried to knock her out like he was Tyson. They enter the car together and that's it. That's the end of the movie. That, that's it. Yep. But it has one of those, though I'm hopeful, yes no. I am hopeful as today. And then, so that automatically makes this one of the best movies I've ever watched. Now, what are my thoughts on this movie? I thought it was pretty gosh darn entertaining. Sure, it had its mishaps like having a slow first 20 minutes, but overall, I freaking loved it. And I'm never gonna judge the acting of these types of movies. I think that just comes with the Tubi package. But, but the writing in these movies always takes a turn in a direction that I'll never predict by the time I'm at the end of the movie. Like, who the hell this guy robbed? But I love movies. Wait. He was what, fam? Oh my god. He was arrested on four counts of armed robbery and illegal possession of a firearm with the intent to kill. He killed someone. He did though. kill somebody. <laughs> this guy <laughs> robbed. But I it love movies like, like this. They're fun to watch, and I bet the people who are making it had fun making it too. Now, I'm not gonna fuck around and say this movie's amazing or anything up there with the likes of Citizen Kane and Date Movie. But if you're looking for something stupid, fun, and entertaining to watch, I recommend this. Because nah, I think this movie encapsulates what Tubi movies are about. Yep. Ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I've been gone for God knows Oh, that, oh, that was, was great, man. That, that was, was wild, fam. <sighs> that was fantastic, man. That was... You just didn't know it was going to take the turn. It did. That took a... An uh, incredible turn, and it was hilarious. He came back way. from the dead to beat her. <laughs> she overcame it because she was training to fight back. Just to tell a nigga she's gonna go to church, and if you want to roll, and he said he'll go. Ah, <laughs> uh, god damn! This I body Crack it, had to. Hey, open. you guys got. I bet you twenty dollars. One of them sold the drugs to her. Hey, it's like, and then one of them knew karate, so he had to be the guy. And then that's that was it with that. Hey man, comment down below. Let us know some other Tubi movies we may need to may need to check out, man. We can maybe do like some to reaction, maybe a Patreon thing. Yeah, a, a, a Patreon movie night. Patreon Tubi movie night. Man. I'm with it, bro. I'm with it. I'm with it. Get some liquor. <laughs> I'm down. A good time. I'm down. Let us know, man, down below some Tubi movies you guys we would can, recommend. We can, we can we'll do a, 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 a Tubi movie night, man. Oh, shit. It's Halloween. We can find a, a, a good scary Tubi. That's going to piss me off. <laughs> I can't wait. Hey, comment down a good scary Tubi movie, man. We'll, we'll do it. We're going gonna to try to make that a thing. <laughs> Anywho, man. I gotta see this. And it's free, so. If y'all like the movie, man, make sure I wanna. If y'all like the. the <laughs> not the movie, shit. The, the video. <laughs> make sure you run up the like, subscribe. I'm, I'm all over the place. Oh, that was this. great. I can't believe it. Yep. Can't believe it. <laughs> this is on an app where millions of people can watch this. Yeah. Anywho, run up the like, subscribe. Spread love, be love. Facts. Guess we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Already. This is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.